two left to jump. Line the Barney Colbert Station, the near side, Los Amigos towards the inner, over the second last, and Colbert Station from Line the Barney, Gold Bullet, follow me up to Carlo on the far side, Los Amigos. Not much between five of them down to the last, Colbert Station, Los Amigos, Line the Barney, Gold Bullet looking to get through between them, follow me up to Carlo, fifth, Los Amigos now, Line the Barney on the near side, Colbert Station, Gold Bullet at the final fence now, and it's Los Amigos. Landing just in the lead. Los Amigos, the leader from Lina Barney, who's battling on strongly on the far side and up towards the finish. Los Amigos all out to hold the brave effort of Lina Barney. Los Amigos and Andrew Lynch, Lina Barney. Gold Bullet, follow me up to Carlo and Colbert Station. Two left to jump. Line the Barney Colbert Station, the near side, Los Amigos towards the inner, over the second last, and Colbert Station from Line the Barney, Gold Bullet, follow me up to Carlo on the far side, Los Amigos. Not much between five of them down to the last, Colbert Station, Los Amigos, Line the Barney, Gold Bullet looking to get through between them, follow me up to Carlo, fifth, Los Amigos now, Line the Barney on the near side, Colbert Station, Gold Bullet at the final fence now, and it's Los Amigos. Landing just in the lead. Los Amigos, the leader from Lina Barney, who's battling on strongly on the far side and up towards the finish. Los Amigos all out to hold the brave effort of Lina Barney. Los Amigos and Andrew Lynch, Lina Barney. Gold Bullet, follow me up to Carlo and Colbert Station. Two to jump. Bally Adam approach, in the center is Mr. Shankly. As they jump this one, Murphy's Philly towards the near side and lost one there, easy on the eye. Has parted company with Ryan Tracy. Down now to the final fence they come. Bally Adam approach, pressed now by Mr. Shankly on the near side. De Benno the Grey has made ground now to chase the leading pair with just a couple of lengths to make up as they come down towards the final fence. Mr. Shankly, Mark Enright on the far side. Bally Adam approach and David's plane. And De Benno now in top gear for Mikey Fogarty. Three in line as they jump the last. And in the center, Mr. Shankly pressed by De Benno. On the far side is Bally Adam approach, running up towards the finish now. Mr. Shankly and De Benno on the near side, driving finish, hit the line, Mr. Shankly. And Mark Enright just from De Benno. Bally Adam approaches third, and they're well clear. Fourth home witness of fashion, Flas Longshot Murphy's Philly. Two to jump. Bally Adam approach, in the center is Mr. Shankly. As they jump this one, Murphy's Philly towards the near side and lost one there, easy on the eye. Has parted company with Ryan Tracy. Down now to the final fence they come. Bally Adam approach, pressed now by Mr. Shankly on the near side. De Benno the Grey has made ground now to chase the leading pair with just a couple of lengths to make up as they come down towards the final fence. Mr. Shankly, Mark Enright on the far side. Bally Adam approach and David's plane. And De Benno now in top gear for Mikey Fogarty. Three in line as they jump the last. And in the center, Mr. Shankly pressed by De Benno. On the far side is Bally Adam approach, running up towards the finish now. Mr. Shankly and De Benno on the near side, driving finish, hit the line, Mr. Shankly. And Mark Enright just from De Benno. Bally Adam approaches third, and they're well clear. Fourth home witness of fashion, Flas Longshot Murphy's Philly. as they come down to the second last. Morning Run and Ruby Walsh from Lyrical Theatre, Danny Mullins, the near side. They're followed by Betas Isles in third, but on the run to the final flight, Morning Run from Lyrical Theatre, Betas Isles in third, coming down to the final flight in the Solarina Mares. Morning Run, the leader from Lyrical Theatre, a break to Betas Isles, the final flight now. Morning Run from Lyrical Theatre. Over the last, Morning Run, Lyrical Theatre made a slight mistake, and now Morning Run has seized the opportunity to lengthen away. And on the run up to the finish, Morning Run will extend their winning ways as they go up to the finish. Morning Run will win it by three to four lengths from stable companion Lyrical Theatre, cleared of Betas Isles third, and they're a long way in front of Why Not Thistle and Nokraha Pylon.
as they come down to the second last. Morning Run and Ruby Walsh from Lyrical Theatre, Danny Mullins the near side. They're followed by Betas Isles in third, but on the run to the final flight, Morning Run from Lyrical Theatre, Betas Isles in third, coming down to the final flight in the Solarina Mares. Morning Run, the leader from Lyrical Theatre, a break to Betas Isles, the final flight now. Morning Run from Lyrical Theatre. Over the last morning run, Lyrical Theatre made a slight mistake, and now morning run has seized the opportunity to lengthen away. And on the run up to the finish, morning run will extend their winning ways as they go up to the finish. Morning run will win it by three to four lengths from stable companion Lyrical Theatre, cleared of Betazile's third, and they're a long way in front of Why Not Thistle and Nokraha Pilot. Zafayen coming there on the outside. They're being followed by Manila Berry in between horses. Hostile Far Zafayen. Manila Berry in between horses, and they're followed by Sneem. But it's Hostile Far and Davy Condon in front of Zafayen coming down now towards the final flight. Hostile Far, the leader from Zafayen. Sneem in third, Manila Berry at the final flight. Hostile Far from Zafayen on the near side as they race away from it now. Hostile Far has gone a few lengths clear Sneem a very bad mistake and up towards the finish it's Hostile Fire from Zafian as they go to the line and Hostile Fire and Davy Condon will win by two and a half lengths or so second home Zafian well cleared of Sneem and taking the fourth place smoking big cigars Zafian coming there on the outside they're being followed by Manila Berry in between horses Hostile Fire Zafian Manila Berry in between horses and they're followed by Sneem but it's Hostile Fire and Davy Condon in front of Zafian coming down now towards the final flight. Hostile Fire, the leader from Zafian, Sneem in third, Manila Berry at the final flight. Hostile Fire from Zafian on the near side as they race away from it now. Hostile Fire has gone a few lengths clear. Sneem a very bad mistake and up towards the finish. It's Hostile Fire from Zafian as they go to the line and Hostile Fire and Davy Condon will win by two and a half lengths or so. Second home, Zafian well cleared of Sneem and taking the fourth place smoking big cigars. Sizing Titanium in the lead from Velvet Maker on the outside of Patsio. Kalini Court is next. Over the second last, little to choose now between Sizing Titanium. Velvet Maker coming there strongly on the near side now to pick it up for Adrian Heskin with staying on behind them. Kalini Court as they race down now to the final flight. It's Velvet Maker out in front of Sizing Titanium, Kalini Court and Patsio. And at the last, Velvet Maker over and clear of in second place Sizing Titanium. And on the near side, Kalini Court up towards the finish. And Velvet Maker has stretched right away and is going to win this by a good 10 lengths for Adrian Heskin. Second home, Sizing Titanium. Kalini Court is third, Patsio, Badger Fort and Sir Scorpion. Sizing Titanium in the lead from Velvet Maker on the outside of Patsio. Kalini Court is next. Over the second last, little to choose now between Sizing Titanium. Velvet Maker coming there strongly on the near side now to pick it up for Adrian Heskin with staying on behind them. Kalini Court as they race down now to the final flight. It's Velvet Maker out in front of Sizing Titanium, Kalini Court and Patsio. And at the last, Velvet Maker over and clear of in second place Sizing Titanium. And on the near side, Kalini Court up towards the finish. And Velvet Maker has stretched right away and has got to win this by a good 10 lengths for Adrian Heskin. Second home, Sizing Titanium, Kalini Court is third, Patsio, Badger Fort and Sir Scorpion.
It is definite Earl on the inside, just the leader. From jump to conclusions, Missy's pet, suffering socotage. And then comes Frankie Ballou, who's beginning to stay on just behind. The mine now is getting into it. All the chimneys, the inside, but definite Earl with the lead. From jump to conclusions, Missy's pet, the near side. Mine now is just in behind with Frankie Ballou. On the run to the final flight, and definite Earl over on the far side, the leader. Missy's pet and jump to conclusions. Mine now in between horses. Then comes Frankie Ballou, but it is definite Earl the leader from Missy's pet and mine now and jump to conclusions. The final flight coming up. Definite Earl pressed by Missy's pet and mine now on the outside. Inside the last 150 now, and Missy's pet in the center is the leader from mine now, putting in a run the near side, racing up to the finish. It's Missy's pet and Brian O'Connell will hold off mine now in second. Third home is definite Earl. Jump to conclusions. Frankie Ballou clear of Atroff's lad. It is definite Earl on the inside, just the leader. From jump to conclusions, Missy's pet, suffering socotage. And then comes Frankie Ballou, who's beginning to stay on just behind. The mine now is getting into it. All the chimneys, the inside, but definite Earl with the lead. From jump to conclusions, Missy's pet, the near side. Mine now is just in behind with Frankie Ballou. On the run to the final flight, and definite Earl over on the far side, the leader. Missy's pet and jump to conclusions. Mine now in between horses. Then comes Frankie Ballou, but it is definite Earl the leader from Missy's pet and mine now and jump to conclusions. The final flight coming up. Definite Earl pressed by Missy's pet and mine now on the outside. Inside the last 150 now and Missy's pet in the center is the leader from mine now putting in a run the near side racing up to the finish. It's Missy's pet and Brian O'Connell will hold off mine now in second. Third home is definite Earl. Jump to conclusions. Frankie Ballou clear of Atroff's lad. Now Whistle Dixie improving on the outside track by Honey's Joy as Ma Garrett and Chris Kindle both come under pressure. Racing now inside the final two. Hello Sweetie now from Whistle Dixie coming there. Honey's Joy the near side. Chris Kindle is still staying on for pressure. But now Whistle Dixie and David Mullins go to the front. Being followed by Honey's Joy on the outside of Hello Sweetie. But running up to the finish, Whistle Dixie from Honey's Joy and then Hello Sweetie and Chris Kindle. But on the run up towards the finish, it's Whistle Dixie now is going to make it three out of three. Wins in good style for David Mullins and Gordon Elliott in the Jiggenstown colours. Honey's Joy is second. Third home is Hello Sweetie. And fourth will be Chris Kendall. Now Whistle Dixie improving on the outside track by Honey's Joy as Ma Garrett and Chris Kindle both come under pressure. Racing now inside the final two. Hello Sweetie now from Whistle Dixie coming there. Honey's Joy the near side. Chris Kindle is still staying on for pressure. But now Whistle Dixie and David Mullins go to the front. Being followed by Honey's Joy on the outside of Hello Sweetie. But running up to the finish Whistle Dixie from Honey's Joy and then Hello Sweetie and Chris Kindle. But on the run up towards the finish. Finish. It's Whistle Dixie now is going to make it three out of three. Wins in good style for David Mullins and Gordon Elliott in the Jiggenstown colours. Honey's Joy is second. Third home is Hello Sweetie. And fourth will be Chris Kendall. <laughs> 